Floyd Mayweather, an icon in boxing history, recently shared his perspective on the showdown between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. Additionally, Roy Jones Jr. has weighed in on the outcome of the Garcia versus Haney clash. Their shared insight highlights the fact that both fighters have a deep familiarity with each other, having faced off six times as amateurs. Roy also provided valuable insights into the key factors that could influence the outcome of the Haney versus Garcia fight, imparting wisdom to Garcia known as Kingry. The good thing about it, they fought six times as amateurs, and they both are well familiar with one another, right? That means that you probably won't get no early round stop. In the midst of it all, Jones Jr. expanded on his rationale for not expecting a swift knockout in the early rounds. He emphasized the deep-seated familiarity between the two fighters, who had clashed countless times in their amateur journeys. This emphasized a profound grasp of each other's tactics and techniques, likely diminishing the likelihood of a quick finish. Roy hoped the match wouldn't conclude too soon, preferring instead for it to endure through the early rounds. He saw the prolonged fight as a pivotal gauge, exposing the depth of each fighter's professional evolution. Roy Jones Jr. observed that Garcia leaned heavily on his hook during the bout against Davis. Yet Davis astutely deciphered King Rai's maneuvers, plunging Ryan into dire straits. Inevitably, he fell victim to a knockout. Professional boxing is different from amateur boxing. And when you start to find that out is, when the rounds start getting longer, you find out who developed and who has not developed as a professional. And that's what this fight is going to show. Providing his perspective on the showdown, ex-WBA Intercontinental super lightweight title holder Kenneth Sims Jr. has shared his predictions for the impending clash. Drawing from his experience sparring with Devin Haney, Sims Jr. brings a deep comprehension of Haney's strengths and the nuances of the sport, offering valuable insights into what might unfold in the ring. Sims Jr. said, Yeah, I sparred Devin when he was getting ready for his Combosos fight. I never been in there with Ryan. Ryan got some talent. He's explosive, fast, can punch. But I think Devin should pull it out. Kenneth Sims Jr. holds the belief that Haney's in-ring instincts will surpass Garcia's, especially in critical moments. He expressed, I believe Haney is more technically proficient and possesses greater ring intelligence in decision-making. Referencing Garcia's own admission during the tank fight, he added, Ryan confessed to getting bored and opting for a reckless approach, leading to a downfall. I anticipate Devin will likely outsmart him. Moreover, Sims Jr. observed that Haney and Garcia faced off multiple times as amateurs. Despite acknowledging Haney's tactical prowess, Sims Jr. leaned towards Haney over King Rye. When asked about the likelihood of a knockout, the 30-year-old had a poised reply. He stated, I believe Devin has the potential to knock him out, just as Ryan does. In boxing, the outcome remains uncertain until you step into the ring. When asked whether he'd be taken aback by Garcia outboxing Haney, Sims Jr. responded, That would certainly raise an eyebrow. I'd be less astonished if Devin managed to halt him. I'm not anticipating a sudden one-punch knockout. Concerns about Ryan Garcia's mental state surfaced in the boxing community due to some of his questionable tweets. The 25-year-old subsequently underwent a mandatory mental health evaluation at the request of the NY Athletic Commission. While many anticipated Haney to dominate Garcia, Kenneth Sims Jr. offered a broader perspective, stating, In boxing, anyone can land a knockout punch with 8-ounce gloves. Vigilance in defense is crucial. In the midst of it all, Sean Porter speculated that Garcia's recent controversial comments and erratic conduct, casting doubt on his mental well-being, could be part of a deliberate strategy. Porter suggested that Garcia seems fully prepared and focused for his junior welterweight bout against reigning champion Devin Haney. That Ryan may have experienced and knows from way back then mm -hmm. that he can tap into. Right. It ain't nothing he could have tapped into against Tank. Right. We hear whatever happens, happens. I got caught. It is what it is. But he's tasted the speed. He's, he's seen the speed. He's tasted right. the power from, from Devin. I think he's going to come to the ring comfortable against Devin, confident against Devin. He got Derrick James in the corner now. Mm -hmm. So they working 
fundamentals and, and basics. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Right. I think that shoulder roll is not going to be there. If it, if it is, it's going to be cleaned up. Guess what? He got with Mayweather for a little bit of time. You know what I mean? Right. So I think he coming. Renowned actor and skilled martial artist Michael Jai White shares a thought-provoking perspective in a recent interview. White raises doubts about Garcia's unconventional axe technique, cautioning that such distractions won't mask the significant improvements Garcia needs to make in the boxing ring. As fight night draws near, what lies ahead for Ryan Garcia in his current situation? In the midst of the conversation, Michael Jai White candidly shared his perspective on Ryan Garcia's present condition and mindset. He expressed, I believe Devin Haney will rise to the occasion. I sense Ryan has considerable room for improvement. He may have been somewhat crafted. I mean, he possesses good looks and a formidable punch. But indeed, Devin highlighted areas where Ryan needs substantial refinement. White admitted his ignorance regarding Garcia's recent peculiar conduct when the subject arose. I'm completely in the dark about it, he confessed, upon being informed of Garcia's disturbing social media updates where he alleged to have been abducted and caught up in bizarre situations. White voiced genuine apprehension. White expressed concern over the truth of the matter, suggesting it doesn't bode well for the individual's favor, particularly someone who needs to seriously refine their fundamentals. Additionally, he dismissed the interviewer's notion that Garcia's erratic behavior was a strategic ploy to intimidate opponents, firmly asserting its ineffectiveness White highlighted the potential challenges Garcia may face due to his actions, underscoring the repercussions of his past encounter with Gervonta Davis. Stressing the importance of overcoming this setback, White believes Devin Haney will emerge victorious in the match. With victory seemingly assured, the focus now shifts to Haney's tactics inside the ring. In reply to Ryan Garcia's disparaging remarks about his recent media workout, Devin Haney responded with assurance. Garcia had belittled Haney's efforts, insinuating that even a 12-year-old could punch harder. Garcia remarked that Haney's media display lacked power, suggesting he could outclass him with better training. Nevertheless, Haney confidently asserted his determination to triumph in their bout. The tension between them sets the stage for an electrifying showdown. Meanwhile, the CEO of Mayweather Promotions finds himself displeased with the dismal ticket sales for the bout, a stark departure from the buzz generated by the Gervonta Davis vs. Rolando Romero showdown held at the same venue two years prior. Shakur Stevenson and other prominent figures have voiced their discontent over the exorbitant prices, dampening the once vibrant anticipation for the event. Ringside seats, even the top tier ones, can soar up to $20,000, yet they kick off at a mere $114. Leonard Ellerbay, responding to a fan's praise for the Davis versus Romero match at the same venue, bluntly criticized the event's organizers, suggesting they lacked competence in scaling the fight. He emphasized that this oversight would ultimately dent the fighter's earnings. While some are making light of the situation, Ellerby pointed out that attention should be directed towards the unsold tickets still sitting in the box office. This time, blaming Hearn isn't the solution. Numerous individuals have pondered why Las Vegas, with its potential for heightened foot traffic, wasn't selected to host the highly anticipated February fight. Mayweather's promotion spearhead targeted Oscar De La Hoya, asserting that when you're hasty, and lacking in thorough preparation, mishaps occur. While appreciating Burger King, he emphasized that Vegas reigns supreme for lucrative opportunities, stating it's not exactly rocket science, but genius. The Garcia versus Haney match might struggle to fill the seats unless De La Hoya decides to adjust the ticket prices. Garcia, who had previously voiced concerns about pricing, shares similar apprehensions. Taking a dig at Haney, Garcia highlighted the ticket issue, expressing his desire for a full house at his fight. He asserted that Haney lacks drawing power, emphasizing that he's been the driving force behind the promotion. According to Garcia, nobody wants to see a fighter who supposedly lacks knockout power. Garcia voiced his desire for lower ticket prices for his fight, emphasizing his advocacy for accessibility to all fans. The record holder, with 241 victories under his belt, stressed that high prices alienate many Americans. 
Not many can shell out $1.500 for nosebleed seats. Even with my means, I wouldn't do it, he asserted. Meanwhile, Devin Haney criticized Floyd Mayweather Jr. for sharing a sparring video featuring Gervonta Tank Davis. Although Haney and Mayweather have trained together before, Mayweather's closeness to Garcia and Davis, who are Haney's rivals, exacerbated their animosity. Haney fired back at X, stating that Floyd has harbored resentment for a long time. This didn't just begin recently. He said, I've kept quiet for years out of respect for the legends of the sport, but this guy is a certified hater. He doesn't want to see anyone succeed unless he's involved. On another note, Garcia accused Floyd Mayweather of trying to sabotage his match. Recently, Ben Thompson from Fight Hype suggested that Ryan Garcia was struggling mentally and that his fight with Devin Haney might need to be postponed. King Rai took offense to Thompson's remarks. Similarly, Garcia claimed that Thompson was working to delay the Garcia versus Haney bout at the behest of Floyd Mayweather when he spoke with Thompson. My whole thing is how you said that this fight needs to be stopped, it needs to be canceled. I, I didn't say that. I know that you're working for Floyd and Floyd probably told you to try to make my shit go down. Examining the advice Mayweather previously gave Garcia is relevant here. Ryan Garcia briefly associated with Floyd Mayweather, even training with TBE. Garcia attempted the shoulder roll against Oscar Duarte, influenced by Mayweather. Later, Garcia expressed intentions to improve the move with Mayweather's help. However, Mayweather objected to Garcia taking Haney's super lightweight title. Garcia questioned Mayweather's stance, suggesting he fight rally for the belt first before facing Haney. Despite Garcia's reasoning, he had already committed to fighting Devin. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.